the clarion call has sounded. The curtain rises. Say goodbye to yourself and embrace the unknown. As I don the many masks of this tale, I challenge you to fully immerse in the story, the mystery, and the terror. Live the fears and hopes, and let your mind wander through the shadows. Uncover the secrets that lie beneath, for the only certainty is the mask you wear. Embrace the transformation, commit to the journey, and let the masks of Nyarathotep reveal its truths to you. To Madame Zeroni, <laughs> I hope this letter finds you well and surrounded by the familiar sins of our shop. As you know, I've ventured to New York City for my latest expedition, absolutely enchanted by the dazzling lights and the bustling atmosphere. It's a far cry from our warm Louisiana, though. This cold weather is something else. Thankfully, my dear friend Abby, who was on the previous trip to Peru, lent me a jacket to help brave the chill. We're supposed to meet our other friend, Jackson Elias, at the Chelsea Hotel, room 410. When Vincent talked to him, he mentioned that Jackson didn't sound the same. I can't help but feel a twinge of anxiety about that room number. It haunts me from a premonition that never seems to fade. I can't shake the feeling that something is amiss. When we arrived, my heart sank. We found Jackson tied to a chair with his guts out and something hard on his face, and three men with knives searching the room. In the chaos, Declan shot one of them, but the other two escaped through the window. My mind is racing, and I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Please send my love to Sebastian when he comes to check on you in the shop. I'm grateful for his presence. I know he'll keep you company while I'm away. It seems I'll really be putting those self-defense lessons to good use. I miss you dearly and will keep you updated as our adventure unfolds. I love it. And we see all four of you standing in this small, you know, hotel, extended stay hotel room. Um, and various states of disarray. It almost looks like they had started to ransack his place. Um, so most things are toppled over. Um, you can see, like, you know, maybe his little writing station kind of, like, messed about and papers pulled around and um, stuff like that. Um, you, Abigail, are... You're not game-wise bleeding. Uh, you're mm -hmm. fine, but remember, you got cut on mm -hmm. your like upper torso somewhere from the, the slash so you have blood on your clothes I'm telling you this to remember because you may decide to make a run for it or something yeah. so um, and you see Jackson Elias's body you know slumped in his chair um, over there and with that with a strange symbol on his head um and I'll uncover that first, and we can just start there, and then you guys take it away. Oh, Chad, what you got before we we get into it? Well, I mean, it's a it's a yeah, a contextual story Absolutely. question. Go for it. Uh, uh, safe assumption that uh, you know, given my history in the area and general knowledge of of everyone of of the area at the time. Uh, I mean, the cops presumably being called about gunshots in Harlem apartment of a, of a black dude. Hotel, uh, hotel room? Well, long, long-term no, stay long -term hotel, stay, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, it has both. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, all of these factors put together, um, even if I did want to talk to the cops about getting some, something for my friend here, um, I probably don't want to be in the middle of their hasty looking for an, an excuse to <laughs> to make this case go away uh, uh, sort of uh, investigation. Is, is that a, a fair assumption? So you're you're uh, you're afraid to talk to them. You're afraid that if you say something, you'll be wrapped up into it. Is that what you're basically? Well, I, one, we're armed. Mm, yes. And there were gunshots. Yeah. And a man's dead. Even if it do, even yeah. if there is no logical thing to connect us to what happened to him. I'm, I'm I'm asking you to, to confirm my gut feeling. Yeah. Or, or give some ruling to, I, to. 
I uh, I'm not gonna say what will happen one way or the other, but I wouldn't right. want to be there person like personally me right now. Like that is not right. a situation I would find myself in. I would definitely run. Yeah, uh, you I, know. So yeah. it's, well, that's what so, I'm getting at, right? Like I I don't think you would have any reason to think that yeah. that this is going to be thoroughly investigated and taken care of. Like he would fully expect that these guys are probably just gonna try to pin us. Oh, and, I see what you're saying. Like, it would depend on the cop really um right. and, and for course. clarification you're not in harlem oh i right thought this now. part was yeah so harlem. you're in midtown right now um, okay so it is a little bit nicer but it's, it's in manhattan yeah no. it's it's yeah. it's it's a fairly nice it's on uh, broadway so okay well i mean that's still only like we could go dirty from harlem mm -hmm. if i remember the map correctly it's not too far it's not too you have to go uh, north a while uh, yeah to get okay. there. Uh, but yeah, Regardless. you're just just yeah. off Broadway, a couple blocks. So okay. it's a it's a nice top area of town, busy area of town. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. You would expect okay. um, these types of places places either to have a cop or cops around, okay, or close by. I wondered that was yeah. that was gonna be my next question. Yeah, I and, figured they'd probably be stationed about. In 1920s, they don't have radios. They would have to go to somewhere, a box or whatever, and make a call to the station. Um, so they're not they okay. don't not in communicado with each car doesn't know what each other car is doing until they stop and get a phone sure. and call it in so yeah yeah um okay. plus there's been well, storms lately so you don't know how that may affect if there's not a cop right there it may take a little bit longer to get a, a full surge of people there to invest yeah, I mean, we, yeah not it's specifically yeah. snowstorms right Correct. yes yeah yeah did did they have did i i don't know maybe it's irrelevant i i've feel like the the uh uh horse born <laughs> nypd uh that was probably a thing yeah. i would say that's probably a thing yeah but uh i mean there's still, imagine they're, they're the kind still of guys there, there so, out yeah in these the sort of uh snowy circumstances right better better horse than shitty car <laughs> yeah uh, okay sorry. yeah sorry, so, I, so with that i figured that was a correct I think chain so. of thought but. and y'all can talk this over as you know oh, you look yeah. over and see uh jackson elias and look at the handouts america handout uh america eight symbol and you can see this carved symbol in jackson elias's forehead it's like two half moons and then i don't know like a star or slits cool tattoo. yeah um clearly made with one of their knives that they had their long knife Hmm. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are you guys doing? I'm the hand holdings off. I don't have a character to spur you on now, so it's completely on your own to do whatever you do. <laughs> um, since I'm by Jackson, sure. Um, can I do some kind of like? Would I recognize that symbol or from my library use or research or anything? Or um, maybe I uh, you I doubt it. What do you got here? Let me look at your. Let me look at your character here, a cult. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah. You roll me a library use. Because I use the library. You actually and have I library failed. use. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> you have to think on it some more, but it's it, like, maybe I've okay. seen that somewhere, you know? Yeah. Um, it looks familiar, but I don't know. Yeah, you're not thinking of it right now. Cool, I'm glad okay. I'm right um, Zach, uh, what's the official name of the one you turned over? The official name is... Carlisle Papers. Carlisle Paper, Papers America 8. And then it got symbol. Eight? Yeah. Do we need to do... Oh, no, no. Not, does, that mean I'm, yeah. I'm, does that mean I'm behind or 1 through 7 also? Or, uh, uh, or 1 through 7 un... Uh, covered. You're not behind, and they haven't been uncovered yet. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Some I didn't them, say that. 
you, yeah. Some of them probably yeah. will. Um, most of them probably will be in this session. Um, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, just want to make sure. I, I thought I was up to date from last time. Mache so, yeah. asked, but you didn't hear it. I think oh, we need sorry. to do luck. Um, luck. Yes, because we had a real session last time. We definitely yeah. do need to do luck. Good call. Yeah. Feeling lucky. You are at 54, Vincent. Luck increased by 1 to 55. Nice. I got two. two. Uh, shit. I always I get excited, and then I go, oh. Uh, 24 under. Ah, so. no, no, no. Close, close, close. All right, well, that was fast. Good job, everybody. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so you're you're looking at this. Uh, Abigail, what are you doing while she's kind of looking? I'm kind of, like, assessing my own wound. Sure, yeah. And, and trying to figure out, like, can I, you know, staunch the bleeding somehow? Because I probably don't have as much on me. Do you want to roll a first aid on yourself? Well, yeah. Can I assist? You you can. Yeah. Why not? So do you want her to roll first or for me to roll with a plus one? You both roll. And then if either of you succeed, it works. <laughs> oh, I failed miserably. Oh. Me too. You're That's just, good. you guys are too distraught right now. Uh, it's shaken yeah. up. I mean, you literally just got in a gunfight. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. see your friend um, dead. Yeah. Yeah. See, seeing this occurring, as I'm looking around, I I just grab like his like shirt that's like hanging to dry, and I just <laughs> throw that at her. <laughs> Wear this. Uh, Tie it around. Okay. I'll check the, the fire escape and see yeah. if I can see anyone down there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you go outside, yeah. and that's it's snowing, um, and it's dark. You know, it's uh, it's right before eight. Um, and we. And you're looking around, and uh, you don't see anybody like oh, yes, oh, yeah, pointing up, looking at you, or anything like that. Um, maybe due to the inclement weather. Yeah, so uh, that's good. I wasn't. I was seeing if I could see a trail of where they went. I oh, didn't sure. really care if people were looking. Yeah. That's good that they're not. But just, I know um, that's the snow. I know we got yeah, the the general car model and the tag. Yeah, as they mm -hmm. left. You did. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot. We were able to get that. I did too. Um, so quickly assessing the room and uh, telling everyone as I do, uh, Vince is just okay. I, I don't think we want to be here when the boys in blue arrive. All right, this is. Uh, I don't think this is unless we want to go down for questioning, and I, I don't think we want to be here. Um, Iris, and I hand you a sketch pad. I'm like, why don't you? Take a note of what that that symbol looks like, um, and I'm gonna go towards. Uh, you mentioned like his writing desk. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, is there anything that I can find that looks useful in and around? I, I don't know what the exact state of it is. Yeah, I mean, you, if you want to just try to find things in the room that may be useful, like maybe they were looking for, you know, mm -hmm. or looking at. <laughs> Yeah. Um, the first thing that you notice that stands out to you, you can see like uh, a manila envelope um, that had been opened uh, and something is inside of it. And it's a, um, a business card uh, for Emerson Imports. Uh, okay. And it's printed on some ordinary stock. And I'll uncover that. Uh, I There you go. Um, and you pick that up and you look at it and it's got Emerson Imports address on it. And on the back... It's got a name written on it, and it looks like um, Elias's handwriting. Um, mm. Silas in uh, Quain or Nequan. <laughs> hmm. He's got nice handwriting. Yeah. Um. <laughs> anybody else looking around for stuff uh, while he he noticed that? I'm looking in uh, Jackson's pockets. Oh, good idea. Okay. Yeah, so I kind of wanna, jacket pockets. I'm looking at Jackson's pockets. I'm gonna go over and like, like be over there with her. But I'm actually gonna look at where they cut him. Yeah, and see mm. if like there's additional like they were trying to find something he swallowed or oh. why the hell would they eviscerate him? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So you're gonna look in there and you're kind of like, 
you know, is does he still have his stomach? You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, and yeah. you're looking and it, it doesn't, you don't see any internal damage other than like the slash that had opened up his abdominal cavity and it all spilled out. It didn't look like they were digging around in his guts or anything like that. Um, and you don't see anything additional stashed away in there um, unless you're going to stick your hand inside of the guts to... to not right now. Closer. Okay. No, not right now. Checking the pockets, um, you see a. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, he's got a matchbook um, in his pockets, mm -hmm. and it is uh, from Stumbling Tiger Bar. I'll put that in my pocket. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, Stumbling Tiger Bar, and it's got the address there Shanghai Fun and Friends. Um, and I've uncovered that. And. Looking some more. I want to make sure I. You got the business go. There's a business card, um, in his pocket as well. When you reach in there and pull that out, um, for Edward Gavigan, um, elegantly engraved. And I'll uncover that. And I'm doing these out of order, so it's a little little rough on me. But you're looking at his desk, and you're like, hmm, maybe I should just grab all of this. <laughs> like, if you want to get out fast, you just kind of sweep the papers into that folder and just just grab it. You know, that way you're not standing there looking at everything. Uh, what do you what do you think mm -hmm. about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely, like anything. Yeah, if if I think I can like toss those in whatever like you know, bag I've got, shoulder bag or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, especially looking for um, like, you know, journals, notebooks, anything that might have been like what he was writing on, Absolutely. thoughts, uh, those particular highlights. Um, okay. You and, say you grab a, a, bu a bundle of that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Any, um, is is this a desk that that could have some sort of secret drawer? Right? Uh, no, it just... it's it's very thin. It's one of those like they've he, oh front desk, you know, come bring me something to fold okay. out here, kind of deal. Yeah. Okay. Just just want to double check. Um, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna when Declan comes back in, I'm gonna ask him to see if there's a room safe in the closet, like a hotel safe kind okay. of thing. Uh, and I'm gonna check like. Under the pillows, under the mattress, right quick. Sure, search, search, no, nothing there. Um, okay. Do you go check for the safe, Declan? Uh, yeah. So, and I also mm -hmm. bring up the fact since I think you said it out loud, we're leaving our prints everywhere, and you didn't want to be caught, and we're touching everything, and we're not cleaning up after ourselves. So we have to take care of that if we actually wanted to not I be found. I, I think a, a quick pass, uh, a good rub down uh, on the back end is a, a great idea, but uh, we could at least uh, personally think we could, uh, we have history with a man, so hopefully we could sort of talk our way out of that, right? That's my hope. Uh, but, yeah, sure. It's a very good point. And uh, as he says that, I go back and wipe down the desk with a, a you know, a rag or something that I throw in my pocket. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll check the the closet, and if it's not one of the old school safes that I can immediately see, I'll check for the bottom. Um, yeah, so the bottom open, like fake wood paneling. You open it up, and you see a couple extra heavy jackets that Elias has, uh, and you move them out of the way, and you can see the safe right there, um, and it's opened, and you can see it's got uh, just a few couple hundred bucks in there. Is there um, is the money neatly stacked, or is it like? shifted to the side like it was covering something it looks like they hadn't got to it so it was, but it was so nice and neat in there but it was fully open uh, so fully elias open, yeah okay um i'll like look inside and i guess to follow my own advice i get one of his hanker his like fancy man handkerchief things and put it on oh, my yeah. hand and just kind of like dig around inside and see if there's anything in the safe and then quickly um quickly check see uh if there's like any like a false wall or false anything to see if maybe this was some kind of decoy sure. like, i don't know how fancy the guy was yeah or yeah. like I, I, 
Yeah. Yeah, so you're digging around in there and you feel something um, and it feels like a solid wood object and you pull it out and it's a it's the pipe he had that he had in Peru. Okay, I'll put that in my pocket. I'll just to give, I'll give it to the group, but I put it in my pocket for now until I, you know, finish searching. And yeah. if I don't find that, then like I said, I'll quickly search, see if there's anything else in the closet or anything that I can feel. And I'm just like yeah. kind of gently pushing just to see if something gives way and if it doesn't then i'll um come back out and hand the pipe to um if if abigail if or abigail or or, sorry um iris is near i'll hand the pipe to you but otherwise i'll just i don't know say i've got it what what else like i i assume there's some sort of bathroom is there anything else in this place like yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, um, just a big bedroom I mean, and a bathroom. Quick glance, like, is there anything in the medicine cabinet? You know, whatever, like... Nothing weird. Okay. Um, Declan or anyone else want to search the cultist person that was... that you killed? Oh, yeah, there's... Or, yeah, yeah. You know. Might as well. Oh, I forgot he was the dead yeah. one was there. Um, the dead one. Yeah, so. loot him up. Loot, him up. loot the body. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll uh, I'll um, help Vincent if he wants to quickly. If we can just pat him down super quick, what he's got on him. Yeah, it's you notice like when you get close that it's a strange strip of like flannel, uh, like red flannel, or you know, uh, around his head, and it's tied and it just kind of like hangs, you know, past his chin, um, and it's it looks like it's been dipped in a blood of some sort. Um, you can see it's kind of like crusted and not entirely as flowy as it should be. Um, and he just has like um, maybe like dock worker kind of clothes, uh, like or you know someone that does physical work uh, kind of uh, deal. And you pat him around. He doesn't seem to have much, but he does have a wallet on him. Um, and you take it out, and there's like a couple dollars in there, and his ID is in there. Cool. Um, a Rige uh, Kip Kimboi. <laughs> a Reggie Kip Kimboi. Hmm. Um, it's, it's him. It's uh, not a Yeah, you're looking at it, you're like, okay, yeah, that that's him. Yep. Okay. Must I be forget, like uh, recently nationalized uh, or something. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't remember if you specified last time, what was our, like, ethnic makeup of these three um, guys? This guy and another guy that got away of some kind of African descent. Um, mm -hmm. And the guy that was the furthest, uh, that jumped out the window right away, uh, was, like, a tall white guy. Okay. And did they leave a gun? I don't remember. Or they just have sticks or like clubs or some knives. Right. So no, no guns, but they have these. Let's let me find a handout for you. Let's see. No, um, it's a, I mean, throwing knife is there. Oh, OK, perfect. Yeah. So there's the throwing knife. Uh, it's like a long knife and then they have the, the hatchet. type. OK, throwing knife. I, I want to stage a really quick Go for scene because I shot this guy, right? You did. And yeah. I don't remember where I shot him. Was it in the head? I th yes, I think you blew most mm -hmm. of it off if i remember correctly yeah oh if, if i actually blew it off then it doesn't matter if there's a hole i can work with that but if i blew his head off it doesn't matter uh, i'll um, roll me a luck check well no let me let me let me rethink it okay. um uh actually i'll do it this way sure. um the gun i have with me because i can get another one it's not like near and dear to me it's just a pistol the gun i have with me i will um i will give I want to try to make it look like he fought back. I realize it looks like he ritually died because yeah. he did ritually die, but I kind of want to make it look <laughs> like he fought back. So I'll give him the gun. Uh, uh, Elias, sorry. Give him the gun, put it in his hand, and kind of oh. pose the cultist in a way where maybe he's face down in front of him. And I'll warn them that I'm going to do it so like they can look away if they don't want to see me dragging a bloody body around. But I'll drag him in front of him, pose him, and give Elias the gun. Mm. And make it look it, i don't think it's gonna matter but i don't have much else to do while they're looking anyways plausible deniability so, yeah. Yeah. yeah no i I'll like that yeah mm -hmm. just to make it look like maybe he was being richly sacrificed but he got lucky and he i don't know got one yeah no i like that that's it, very cool i love it in, so in this world where we're we're hoping that that we don't get pinned because they're lazy you've presented <laughs> yeah something and I'll make a mental note. I got to go get a gun now. <laughs> yes. good, good. 
Well, we we can um, we can borrow a few uh, dollars to yep to 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 get you a gun because um, I, I I remember looking at the prices and going oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said a few hundred dollars, right? Yeah, a couple hundred dollars. That's so a you, shitload of yeah, money. <laughs> Elias literally had two hundred dollars. Obviously, not in a hundred dollar bills, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> two one hundred dollar bills. One hundred dollar bills. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, it really fills I'm, the safe I'm up. I'm pretty sure that like a <laughs> rifle was like thirty bucks or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, you guys are probably feeling a little antsy now. You've spent a you know a fair fair amount of time, not a long time, but you know, you know longer than anybody wants to be after a shootout and a murder. You know. Yeah. So I right. have a question. Can I? Does he, is the knife um, still on the guy? Uh, you have to talk to Declan about how he. Uh, Declan, is there a knife on the guy? Uh, if if I found a knife, then sure, I would say like I, I think he would still have it, I'll, and I'll hand it to you handle first like i got the blade and here you go all right thanks <laughs> i'll put it in my bag because i need a weapon <laughs> cool cool also and i can um i can actually do the psychometry thing on it when i have 10 minutes yep so and i, right I don't i don't want a meta discussion i'm not doing this on purpose i'm genuinely asking yeah, that's awesome. is this not accurate for prices for handguns i don't know this is from the looking. 20s I just randomly mm -hmm. Googled and it's 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 for this is for a tabletop game, but it seems to it seems to line up with two other sources for handguns, roughly like there say is a, 30 bucks or so. I, that's what I, that's what I was saying a minute ago is I'm pretty sure that like a rifle. I, I remember seeing a gun for like 30 oh, I thought bucks. we were saying a handgun was two hundred dollars in the 20s. That's why I was like, no, 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 oh, no, no. I, I said two hundred is a shitload of money. <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah, never mind then. Ignore. We're good. I just wanted to make sure I wouldn't. I, I didn't want to no, be us dry to I, get a handgun. Yeah, what I was saying is we could borrow some of his two hundred dollars to replenish your weapon and then some. Yeah, if okay. be. a forty-five revolver is thirty dollars. Forty-five yeah. automatic, forty dollars. Uh, so yeah, there yeah. You. So we can take most of his cat, his petty cash, and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I, I'm assuming there's no like. I, decor or anything up on the walls that like there could be classic Money. like hidden behind the painting uh no kind of most of it's been you know torn down uh yeah just check it. it's a pretty small cool. room and with four of you in there and two dead bodies you're pretty much filling it up so like looking around is very easy to do <laughs> yeah i just i hadn't officially asked that i wanted to get it out yeah yeah so you've got I, you've I, got a stack <laughs> of what you could assume may be you know important information you know, you grabbed everything that looked nice. You could like, I will have to look over this later and see what we can get. And, you know, you grab some matchbooks and some business cards. You grab the knife, stage the place, made a drawing of the forehead, uh, Mark. Mm -hmm. Got this stuff out of the pockets. I think it's time to, to see if we can get out the back door. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Out the fire escape? Out the fire escape. I think that's the plan. Okay. Um, Good. I'm gonna before we commit to going out the fire escape. I'm gonna head out. See any reason that we would not want to go down the fire escape? Although I mean, I looked, I looked, I looked, at, I looked out of it a few minutes ago. I, mm -hmm. Nothing came to just some. I didn't even see people oh. really because of the snow. Well, that's what I mean. Have like, do I see? Oh. a cop car down there. <laughs> like we're gonna climb down the fire escape. Yeah, you don't see a cop car down there. Um, but you do remember that it was making some pretty ominous noises when there was two people on it. It's true. Um, it's true. Other than that, uh, it looks okay. And you could um, probably hear, uh, by this time, you probably hear sirens, you know. Uh, they may yeah. not be making their way very fast, you know, but uh, you yeah. hear it in the um, distance. Having, I, I think we'd sort of established that I had probably visited someone here before. Like, is there another exit other than the main lobby area to this building? Uh, I would say it's you would have to have one by code if I would imagine um Do I, like you would have to like the fire code uh fire code, I, the yeah, fire so would like, count I figured as, surely as, there's some sort of back door that they all the residents long-term residents oh, go yeah. smoke out of or whatever like see if we can go well, there go down we talk we talk to the front desk guy so mm -hmm. do we all need to just go out the front act casually so he knows that we left and are not went in and never came out the, I think, I think that, um, I think there's very little chance that 
since we tried to clean up, as long as we get out, I think there's very little chance that it they can pin it on us. And then mm -hmm. I, I agree with I agree with that that like it may, in the grand scheme of things, it may look more suspicious. It's, if, a, uh, it's a fair point, but to sell that one, um, the sort of coat that you had, would it cover if you buttoned that up? Is it going to cover your wound? Oh, like no. It would have to. Right it's cold. Well, yeah, I, I, I don't know what kind of get up you wear. I just wanted to, I was going to say, I'll grab one of his heavy jackets to put on you and we can act like you're drunk when we leave or something <laughs> like, you know, yeah, whatever. It, it like, should cover and I can always, you know, like strategically have Iris in front of me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, then yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I don't arms. disagree. Yeah. Just, though. Yeah. Just hold on to my arm so it doesn't, you know, limp yeah. off. It's fine. We'll, uh, we'll boogie. Okay. So it's dinner time. Are we'll... you going out the fire exit, the front, or just some? <laughs> you wanted to go somewhere other way? You said. Oh, I, I, I think we're gonna go out the front door so Perfect. you can see us. I, I was saying sure the I fire. I was saying the fire escape, but I like that plan better. Okay. Just as yeah. we were seen. So okay. Let's do that. Yeah. yeah. So you guys um, are making your way, make your way down. You get to the front, um, and you can see some people gathered um, in the, the lobby. Um, you don't see any police yet. Um, you do see the front desk clerk, um, kind of, uh, you know, running around to different groups of people and he sees you, you know, coming out of the hallway. Um, he's like, uh, ma'am, ma'am, sirs, sirs, uh, uh, are you, are you okay? Um, is everyone, is everyone fine here? Um, I'm gonna, um, let's see. We specifically asked for Jackson Elias mm -hmm. you with did. this guy, right? Yes, you were there to meet him not, at his but, request, I believe, is was the deal. Yeah. yeah. Um, not, but like, what, like 10 minutes ago? Uh, yeah, maybe 20. Maybe, just maybe. Okay. Um, um, yes, we're quite all right. Uh, we, we're unable to find our friend there. We'll uh, try again another time. No. Uh, did, didn't you hear the, um, the, the gunshots? We heard the commotion. We're coming down here to see what's going on. Oh, Indeed. goodness. Okay, good. I'm glad that you're you're okay. And uh, yes, yes, yes. Do you know what's going on? What happened? Uh, I don't. I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll gather more information, and uh, the police are on their way, and should be here very, very soon. And uh, we'll figure out. They'll uh, probably lock this place down. So. Uh, okay. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Oh yes. Yes. I'm fine. And he kind of looks off, and he's already running to, like, another group of people that are walking down the hallway. And then we go out. <laughs> All right. You guys open the door and go out into the, the brisk cold. Just kind of slaps you up there. I think he, I think uh, Declan requested that the taxi hang around for uh, a while. Is he, is he, did he take off, or is he still here? Did you really? Uh, yeah, uh, roll me a luck check, whoever um, wants to do that. I don't remember, but yeah. I'll roll it if I said I did it. I mean, I, I'm like 90% sure we came by text for Declan being like, hey, hang around. Whatever yeah, you said. Luck. Luck arena. Our secret nope. escape well, car. It looks like know. someone must have yoinked the taxi in the commotion, you know, maybe in fear, you know, here's an extra couple mm -hmm. dollars. My luck is wrong, by the way. That's still, I still failed, but that's not the correct luck. Uh, it should be 55, not 37. It shows 55 on my screen. Oh, well, I failed regardless. On my screen, it says 37. But that's fine. It doesn't <laughs> matter. You You're good. It's, it's good on yours. That's what matters. Oh, that's really <laughs> strange. I don't know. Where you would yeah, it's all good. Or, okay. Fail either way. Oh, I see it now. It says 37 when you rolled it. Yep. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's okay. It's nothing to get bogged well, down on. Just doesn't matter. I just want to type it in again and hit enter just to, you know, maybe that'll make a difference. There, it's fixed. Okay. All right. Hmm. Word. Okay. Yeah, so um, you're outside. Um... Remind me, um, this was sort of, it's, it's in the middle of, of Midtown, but it's sort of off the beaten path a little bit, right? It's just two blocks up off of Broadway, pretty much three blocks off Broadway to the north. Yeah. So. so we'll, we'll, whatever seems like the quietest, 
um, side street, I think we'll go that way and then make our way back to Broadway and catch a taxi a bit away, I think. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, you guys were just staying, you know, just down the street. Um, so uh, you probably didn't take a taxi. You probably walked there because it's just right down the road. Oh, okay. Um, I couldn't remember. I, for some reason, I felt like we had to take one because of the, the weather, but I don't... Oh, maybe I, you did. Yeah, maybe that's why. Um, I could be... Either way, you have options. Yeah. Um, do you want to head back? Do you all want to head back to the hotel? Just want to drive somewhere? Um, um, what, what was the address on that bar? Lantern Street. Do I know where that is? Is that nearby? Uh, doesn't look familiar to you. Okay. Um, um, yeah, I, unless somebody's got a better idea, I think I, I would, I would head back to our place. Reconvene, talk, talk it over, get, yeah, get some, Abby some bandages. Get some to deal with and think about and figure out. Mm. Okay. You guys head back. You can, uh, you can hear and see police cars, you know, go by eventually, um, on your, your track and, you know, cause it's going to take more than just one. <laughs> so they get called mm -hmm. down there to cordon off the area and do whatever they're going to do. Um, but you could make it back to your hotel and, you know, go to whatever room you guys are sharing, maybe a double room connecting. Um, I think we established that she had a large one that that's we right. were a suite. visiting in. She's, you've yeah. got a suite for them, Abigail. That's right. You, you roll the suite. Yeah. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. That has a phone uh, in it as well. Yeah. It did, yes. Yeah, um. <laughs> yeah so you, you um, get in there and... Um, <laughs> Stoke the fire halfway back that. I'm gonna like how I'm gonna check on her are you <laughs> I'm okay uh, started to feel a bit woozy there for a little bit when we were leaving the lobby but mm -hmm. um, yeah. you know but, yeah, I'm okay right. it's, uh, hurts quite a bit I'm sure uh, at some point uh, Vincent would, would knowing our history I'd, I don't mean anything but if you need an arm I'm here <laughs> keep that in mind now that we are um, calm can I do another first aid or medicine check I was looking for that I think it's that's it for the day but I, I want to double check and make sure that that's true okay um, so page 65 here first aid skill You could have pushed it. We always forget about that. Oh, yeah. um, well, I think we pushed one of our first first aids, and that was when we hurt. Down. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all got spooked a little on that front. Wounds and mm -hmm. healing. Is it, I think it's one of those like once per day you're on for something per wound or i'm almost positive it's once per day per oh yeah you can't do i don't have it up in front of me but i remember you can't do it until you get hurt again kind of thing right like you can't do first aid again until you get hurt again something like that now, could i try and to say because that was since i wasn't involved in that one no i think i think it's for the wound Right, so based, based on the wound. Okay, yeah. I could I couldn't remember. But medicine. like Machado said, you can do medicine. Or yeah, right. Well, I don't. I believe I don't have medicine. I think Machado's the only one that does. I have twenty six. If you would like me to try, I won't say no. <laughs> Always <gonna just> get... <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Rub some aspirin in it. <laughs> and well, I, I mean... just think I just can't get it. I just I'm just not with it today. Okay, you and I have both rolled a 94. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. All my rolls suck. Let me double check your thing. Medicine is 26. Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure it was correct. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Done. I'm not helping Done. nobody. The, the digital dice are not on our side today. <laughs> the algorithm's off. The algorithm's off. I will off, let guys. you know, there literally exists no waiting in the system at all. Like, the, you know, if I wanted to, even wanted to wait it, I couldn't. So. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Well, here's some ginger ale and some, um, I don't know, whiskey. Yeah, whiskey. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That'd be a nice whiskey ginger ale. 
Well, seeing seeing that uh, that our efforts failed, um, I'll <laughs> I'll just help hold pressure to at least make sure that we've stopped the bleeding, even if we can't heal her. <laughs> right, right, yeah. No, she's make, fine. Make sure that the uh, the, the bleeding jacket she had on, you know, sufficiently staunch the wound <laughs> while you well, I gave her, I gave her yeah, a shirt. I tied the shirt where however I could <laughs> Jackson and pulled shirt, my jacket over you know, it. There's a lot of fabric on a Jackson shirt. <laughs> yeah. Um so we are we at the in our suite? Yep. Um I'll pull out the um business card and the MacBook and and show them to everybody and say, hey, this is what I found in his pockets. Do you guys think this has something to do with whatever mess he got into or? Probably. Is there a phone book in the room? Of course. Ooh. I don't know when phone books were a thing. The yellow pages. I'm going to say yes, because why would you have a phone and not a phone book unless, I, unless you just wanted to get calls, right? But Yeah, or call the front desk or whatever. If there's not a phone book, it would be very common to call the operator in this time. And, and you say, you know, mm -hmm. you pick up and it dials operator, you connect me to, and they yeah. just do it for you. The first phone, first telephone directory consisting of a single piece of cardboard <laughs> was issued on 21st of February, 1878. So, so fair to say they've to... added more names since then. Yeah, yeah. I would have said. <laughs> um, no matter what, I was going to try to look up like, that that um not the not the bar but the the uh the other one the penu okay. foundation mm -hmm. bell yeah. gothic the font was created by at&t bell uh the as a new typeface for a small print book to be readable for for phone books makes sense all right what were sorry you saying, amy sorry <laughs> I was going to look up the Penhue Foundation and see, like, you know, if they had it under a category or something. But you guys would know what the Penhue Foundation was. Okay. Wait, wait. Let me make sure I've got that right. I thought... Let me double check this. Oh, oh never mind. No. I was getting, I was getting the publisher. Uh, but, yeah, you've, ha you've heard of the Penhue Pen Foundation in the handouts, right? The previous one? Yeah. Re yeah. Renowned Egyptologist Aubrey Penhue. Uh. Right? I mean, mm -hmm. even if we don't know a distinct connection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, as, as, uh, uh, um, was it? Declan or myself that found the Emerson card. It was neither of you. It was uh, Iris. No, the Emerson card is the paper packet that he was found on the desk. Oh, okay, yeah. So it was you then. Yeah. Okay, so I thought. Um, I you guys are all with that, and I'm very distracted, and and um, halfway through a drink that you didn't realize I poured, and I just kind of walk over and I plop that down. I don't know the connection, but I have a history with this bastard. Mm -hmm. With the name? The name on there? I don't know that bastard, but this bastard, and I oh. put my finger directly on Emerson. Oh. It's mm -hmm. more Bad news? Bad news bears? We weren't saints in the matter of but him and his goons are the reason my brother is dead. Mm. And why I haven't been back to New York since our trip. Revenge! Sorry, I wouldn't have done that, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, Look, I wonder why he don't like it when you steal from them, but, well, some people have a bit too much. I don't know the connection. Yeah, and and, but, for, and for clarification, you never saw him. Like he did, he physically, personally did not do anything. It was those other people that you assumed right. were connected with him. Yeah. Hmm. He's the reason. <laughs> he has other people do his dirty work, basically. Yeah. Emerson. Well, 
I mean, I, there was no there was no connection between these particular goons and their iconography and those goons, right? No, there wasn't. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I said when you open the door is you recognize them as the same okay. type of people that murdered your friend. Okay, I think I, I think I heard yeah. goons, and I just assumed you meant that there was a connection, not a, a direct. Uh, no, the, they had the same mirroring. headband okay. and the same okay. knife. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I'm. Yes, um, yes, these, I've dealt with this particular variety of goons, and it was quite nice to see one of them removed mm -hmm. from the land of the living. Uh, Vincent clarifies that, yes, I have seen those assholes in their tacky goddamn headbands and their fucked up knives very, very closely. Um, I didn't want to talk, and, well, they wanted me to talk, so. Hmm, so, tread carefully if or when we go to this Emerson well, and Ports. Yes, they are. I don't know the direct connection here. Obviously, there is one of some kind. Is there but, anything else in the paper packet? Well, after showing you guys that, I'm like, let's see what else we can yeah. find. Perhaps we can put some more pieces of this puzzle together. Yeah, so you spend some few minutes um, filtering through there, and uh, I'll just uncover the first one. It looks like a letter um, that he had, uh, and it's... Someone go ahead and read, if you feel like you can read, Carlisle Papers number one. Dear Mr. Car, oh, sorry, Cairo, Egypt, 3rd March, 1919. Mm -hmm. um, dear Mr. Carlisle, your lawyer has informed me that you seek certain knowledge of this land and its distant past, and I believe I can aid you in this regard. Inquiries in the old quarter have identified the one, have identified one Faraz Najjar in the street of Jackals, who claims to be in possession of singular curios, which he believes will be of great interest to you. He is prepared to part with these items if a suitable price can be agreed upon, and I shall endeavor to make sure that matters are arranged to your satisfaction. XOXO, <laughs> love and kisses, M. Warren, Bissart. <laughs> so it seems like maybe, you know, obviously this wasn't written to Elias, uh, but you do know he was trying to follow the Carlisle Expedition Trail, mm -hmm. so this must have been something that he has uncovered. And was seeming and was also trying to be recovered. Maybe I don't know. Um, you don't know why those those guys were there. Um, and looking further, you find a a, a blurry photograph. Um, that one is uh, number four. Hmm. Uh, one, two, three. No, no. Three boats? Yeah, Carlisle Papers number four. A blurry photograph. A blurry photograph. Yeah, it, it looks like um, shows some uh, large steam or diesel powered yacht um, beyond some like Chinese looking boats. Um, part of the name of the yacht is visible. First three letters are D A R. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, and the dim background is a building with a large tower. But that's, that's pretty much. I was going to say, tower. neither of those uh, buildings stand out as something of note, right? Um, let's see. Like if... Hmm. Um... Give me a library use. Whoever feels like they have seen this before. Or have researched some geography have... before, maybe. I have 45 in libraries. Mm -hmm. oh. Damn. <laughs> that doesn't, doesn't Six, 65 over 30. Ah. I'll try. Okay. You got a three. Three stars. Hey. There you go. Finally. Um, you are pretty sure this photo was taken along the Wangpu River in Shanghai, China. <gasps> Interesting. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why he was at 
Tumbling or stumbling tiger bar, Shanghai fun and friends. Yeah. Interesting. Um, what else we got? What else you got? Uh, you also have. I like how they have that where you can cut out the prop itself. Yeah, it's so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I love that. And feel free to if you want to. Like, literally, have no other use for it. So if you feel like you want to make a cool matchbox, have at it. Um, I, I love the idea. Yeah. However. I, was I don't like, know what I'm going to do with it. I love the idea in the envelope. <laughs> in here, it's fun. In there, in there it's just going to get torn up sitting right. in the box of toys. So. 100%. Um, okay, um, digging through more papers, you find a letter um, from Harvard University, uh, number six. Ooh. If anybody wants to read it, feel free. Mr. Jackson Elias, care of Prospero House Publishers, Lexington Avenue, New York City, uh, pinned on November 7th, 1924. Dear Mr. Elias, the book about which you inquired is no longer in our collection. The information you seek may be found here in other books. If you will contact me upon arrival, I will be most happy to further assist you. As always, Miriam Atwright, Harvard University Library. Yep, 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 yep. And that's about it. Uh, the rest of the stuff is just random scribblings and notes and junk, you know, stuff like that, memos. Um, nothing else really stands of note that would assist you here. So this was this was the previous note, right? Sorry, I didn't catch the end of that. November 7th, 1924, that's the previous November? Correct, yeah. Yeah, this is 25. I didn't know Harvard was in Massachusetts. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I didn't know Harvard was in Massachusetts. Yes. Yep. Right outside Boston. Hmm? Right outside Boston. Right outside Boston. Cambridge, Mass. Yeah. Well, there's a there's a lead of sorts. Might be able to contact this at right. And this yeah. Prospero House Publishers, maybe. Uh, yeah. Was that? That is um, what are those other? no Pinhue was the other P. That is you would know that as his publisher uh, for his books. Um, the one he uses, not his, right? Correct. Yeah, the one he uses for his books. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so we go with them. I was like, we're not going to Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> we could go to Massachusetts. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a week or two by horse and carriage. Okay, we're missing one piece of evidence. Um, do we turn this center? We're missing something. <laughs> you can't. What do you? What do you mean? You're missing something. Number seven. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that is the only problem with this number system. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! It's numbered that way. You can, you know, look at it exactly. I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. I I had the same thought every time. I'm going no. <laughs> oh. What did I miss? I must <laughs> go back. Um. In a video game, that's worth reloading checkpoint. You know. Right. Um, yep. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Okay. So spreading the 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 web out on the table. Um, does, so, so, um, taking a look at the sketch of the symbol that was carved in his forehead, I didn't want to get overly close to that. Um, does it ring any bells for me? No. no. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll add that to the pile um do um how how confident that we feel like um that uh well he has a matchbook right mm -hmm. like that is the physical actual matchbook mm -hmm. from that shanghai or whatever right mm -hmm. yeah yep mm -hmm. um so it seems well, 
He's he talked he he talked that he had been traveling and had, had relatively recently returned. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it could be from Shanghai or it could be from like little Chinatown. It could, could yeah, it could definitely be from Shanghai now, especially since you have that photo that looks like it was taken. That's what I mean, yeah. right? Like it could be. At first, I was like, well, if he's got a match, but local. But then I was like, no, I think he was traveling and just came back. So yeah. that doesn't rule anything out. Yeah. Um. Okay. What other What other stuff was there? What am I forgetting? We have the Penn Hugh Foundation, Edward uh, Gavigan. What was the last part you said? Edward Gavigan is the director. Mm, so yes. yes, yes, yes. And also that can I put my hand on the knife for 10 minutes to see if I can yeah. do my Absolutely. Psycho go ahead and click okay. the... Uh... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, if she starts messing with that knife, I go pour myself another drink and <laughs> leave the room. Hmm. You got to click the macro, remember? Oh. I don't remember, but now I do. See it down there? Yes. There you go. Okay. So um, you spend I've got to some... mute for a second. Uh, work's calling me. I'm on call. I got to see what they want. Okay. Be right back. So you spend about, you know, about 10 minutes um, with your hand on it, and you're trying to get the vibe from it, and you're, you know, everything goes dark around you. You close your eyes, and... You just feel despair, and it's something like drums, and then blood starts to trickle out of your nose and your ears, and you ah, 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 come back. Yeah, something was, you weren't able to connect with it, but it was horrible, whatever mm. it was there. So that's at least twice now that she's been able to succeed, but was essentially blocked in some mystical this, way. Right? Meta wise, this was failure. Yeah, I failed. <laughs> oh, I thought I no. thought it was that second roll. No. That you can't see it. It's hidden. You oh. actually can. Oh you can? I said There's oh okay. to reveal. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you guys could see that too. Yeah. Cool. Well, yes, I failed. <laughs> oh, I see. But I like the way you did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, yes. Right. Yeah. You try to. We try to yes and as much as we can. I see. Okay. I see. Okay. Sorry. 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 I misunderstood. I, I saw the success there, and I did. And like something weird. I swear that like my my screen. I probably when it did the thing. I like clicked. It. Remember, she rolled the wrong thing, so I clicked it to delete it. I deleted her roll. Yep. And that's probably so that's, that's yeah. okay. That's why yeah. it moved around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I'm cool. pretty quick okay. with Thank those leads. Bam. Um. I just um. So when when we talked to him, well, we received a telegram right that said I have a connection to the Carlisle expedition or whatever. Right. That was that was how we heard that tidbit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have information concerning Carlisle Expedition. Need revi reliable investigative team. Okay. I'm going to make a request that this is y'all talking over, you know, all this information, you know, yes. like, you know instead of, of uh, to me. <laughs> and that's right. I, 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 yeah, I didn't remember, so I'm. That was a that was a question to anyone, potentially uh, our our guide. Okay, this one. Okay. Well, we've got to fulfill the expedition with him or without. Where do we start, Penhue? And look him up in the. I guess he's is he in the phone book? Is the Penhue Foundation in the phone book? It's well, it it wouldn't be because it's in London. It's in London, yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. 
I realized that after I said, mm -hmm. you know, I would look um, it up. You know, so never mind. It is interesting because it, 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 you know, this is this is a man with the expedition, uh, right? Yeah. Or, or, or rather, uh, the foundation, right? So this is not mm -hmm. one. I believe it was Andrew Pinhew himself. It, it appears this is the director of the foundation. Gotcha. So, I'm back. I'm probably going to be fucked in like 10 minutes and have to quit, but I'm just going to oh, ignore them and see if they call again. Oh, okay. Well, we will stop as soon as we need to. Just let us know and we'll... Yep. That's it. Yeah, I was going to say, Mr. Pinhew was one of the... And I, I don't think we heard any different, anything different after that. Hmm. Miss Post... I'm, I'm checking all of our various assorted paraphernalia for Edward Gavigan. Roger. <clears throat> so the only people we can reach in New York would be the publishers or Emerson. Well, I don't think we want we to could, talk uh, What time is it right now? Mm, like 9 p.m.? Something like that? 10, yeah. <laughs> We could um we could always split up in the morning. I'm assuming the imports would would open. I don't know ten. I swanky stores, maybe like 10 a.m. or something. I don't know how early bougie stores open in the 20s, but they'll be open. I would assume. And then the publishers, I'd imagine they'd keep like corporate hours, like old school nine to five, so they could help mm -hmm. clients. So we could always split up two and two, or maybe I... stay hit them both. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm concerned he, about visiting. If, yeah, if we went to Emerson, would they come after us? Like, would they send those people after us if we, they suspect we that, know too much? much I'm, I'm, I. And and this name, uh, Silas, that was not the name. On that ID, that was something else on the the, right. the grunt that died. Yeah. What? I'll take what, I'll take Emerson. Do have y'all can go to the publishers i'll go to emerson alone i look mean <laughs> i look imposing maybe they'll think i'm some fucking i don't know Declan, mobster you're exceptionally imposing and i i would suggest we don't pull that particular thread into it i can't that he knows he and at least some of his goons know me you and mm -hmm. if you're associated with me whether they whether they <clears throat> I, I can't know that they don't know Jackson's previous compatriots. Right? I don't know if they know his Peru expedition team with, you know, how recently was that book of his published, Zach? You sent us a, one of these documents talks about it, right? I think it was just last year. He published so, like, multiple books throughout, you know, so... Yeah. 1923. There you go. Okay, so... If you, if you tell Declan that, I'm like, no, but really, and I pop my collar, and I'm like, I'm walking here. Yeah. So, so yeah, I blend right in, but I sound like a hick from North Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tony. Uh, <laughs> hey, Tony. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah. Let's talk to the so, publishers first, then, and see if they have any. Well, that, that, that's my my that's my only fear. I, this one, Start I don't there. know what the connection to the thugs is, other than if you mess with that man's money, he sends them after you. So the publishers, um, this is in character. I'm just I'm kind of sick, so I can't. Anyways, the publishers, we don't need to all go. I think that they will feel kind of intimidated. Maybe I think that. Um, well, I mean, honestly, Abigail, maybe, and you, I mean, if you, you can go too, but I think she would have the best chance mm -hmm. to mean, continue to be a client. We Just also, what is our, what is our line of inquiry at the publisher? Oh, that's, you'd have to make, yeah. So it, it would have to be that you're, um, you could maybe make up, we could make up like an organization, like a book club, not a book club. I can't think. Pretend that sounded better. Make up like a club <laughs> that Elias was in that we're in too. 
or that Abigail's into, and she's trying to find a book, but she doesn't know the name. Like we're well, doing, I don't know. It's it's gonna sound mm-hmm. fishy, but I don't think that I I don't personally know what we have to go on other than name dropping him and trying to see if they'll well, maybe we get like a nice secretary that kind of gives the name up. Right. To be clear, I I don't know. Or librarian, you know. sorry. Well, that's, that's I guess that's what I'm getting at, right? Is 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 I, to me, it appears that that Jackson contacted Miriam, perhaps via the publishers. I, I don't know. I don't know how much the publishers know, but we could attempt to get in touch with this librarian. What if we split up? I could the try. Problem the with that is if she's in Massachusetts. I mean, right. call. So, that, that, the, that's my point. Hold, we, hold we, on. Try to no, call, no. we can try to call her. Hold on. Um, Bra- Broadway, New York. What, like five hours? I have no idea, honestly. That's what I'm looking. Let's find out. Um, but 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 we do... Um, yeah, it's like three know. hours. I mean... Oh, no, it's, it's not... It's not unreasonably far, especially if we... Yes, come see me in. I've got information on that which you seek. You know, if, if we just if we, we call her, if we University. into, we are, um, you know, Jackson's investigators, and and he he wanted us to follow up on this thread. Um, we don't have to mention that he won't personally be following up on the thread uh, just yet, but uh, we we could. It's not know. a it's not a um, crazy idea. To like follow I would up rather... on what you just said to to be investigating his death today is a little too soon to br- mention that up, but he would very much be acquainted with people who would be like him and want to track things down and uncover the mystery. A- I would AKU. rather I would rather go tomorrow in person and like kind of get the drop on him to go to the publishers, like that he is working with, not Harvard, right? <laughs> The because they're in Lexington Avenue, it's very close. I'd rather go and kind of drop in on them because kind of surprising people can help sometimes. But depending on what they I give us, we can we can call I Harvard. Just, I I I Vincent has no earthly idea what his publisher friends, uh, but I'm I'm all for it if that's if that's if y'all think there's value, sure. Um, I think Abigail and Iris will be able to sweet talk them metaphorically speaking better because I think y'all <laughs> would. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, to be honest, I feel like they're gonna look at you and kind of see that, like, maybe this is a client we can hook into. To like, even if you pretend like, you could either take the angle of you're actually trying to publish a book, maybe, but you knew Elias, or you can take the collector angle. I feel like you guys look like you have enough money that they would maybe want to take advantage of you, which works in our favor. Because you know, for me, they're not gonna think that looking at me, Vincent. You they probably would too. I'm kind of the odd man out, but I think especially. Well, Meta wise, out of character, it is the twenties. People tried to take advantage of women. You know, they're like, "Oh, I got this. I can do this and this and this." So I think, like, tar- I think you guys can sweet talk them better and like manipulate them. I have a better chance than I would, at least. Do uh, you <clears throat> have some skill in persuasive, fast talk kind of stuff? I forget. I'm looking. Uh, I've got thirty in fast talk. So the publishers, the person we need to talk to is Miriam. Yeah, but he's so unless I'm misunderstanding what care of was, he was working like Chad. I'm sorry, like Vincent said, through it in the intermediary of Prospero. We won't have a name there, but I wanted since they're so close, I wanted to go there in person and kind of have you guys surprise them and see if we can get something. We're going to have to call Miriam regardless. And then if she has something, we can take the drive up to Harvard. If she doesn't, we won't. But we don't have to. I like that you know, we can quite literally tell them that that you know, yes, we're, I don't know if he mentioned his team of investigators. This new book he's working on, you know, we can sure, take the attack, yep. right? Um, that's that is a route, and and you know, if we want to play on the highfalutin angle, you know, you and I, I could go. I, in I would and, rather. Why don't we split it? I like your idea. Why don't you and I try the investigator route? And if that doesn't work, don't be seen with Abigail and Iris, and they can try a completely different tack. You and I can be like Jackson's compatriots or whatever. 
Yeah, if they get, then, if they get, yeah, yeah. If they get stymied, we can show up in the yeah. afternoon. And while they're <laughs> while they're talking to them, we'll we'll go um, we'll go get a, a replacement piece of iron for you. There you go. Go to a that pawn shop work. that's run by the mob. <laughs> um, I had another thing. Um, there was something else I was going to say that we we could do here um, in New York, and I don't remember what it was. Oh, we could we could call. Um, we could we could uh, we could contact the operator to ask. Stumbling Tiger to see if Lantern Street is a New York or not. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a good. Yep. That's a good thing to do. Um, I, why? Why don't we just? Uh, well, we can. Do, yeah, I was gonna say we. Uh, we could just go show people, like go to the go to a bar and just show. Great them point. Let's go down to the concierge. I mean, like, like or that. I was, I was thinking, like that. That works what too. Is, Literally what do you mean in here. Like in anywhere random. I mean, I feel like, I feel like that's that may just ask around. It doesn't hurt. But operator may know too. Uh, I, I could use walk. Do we all want to go? Do you want to go? Okay, we'll just go. I think I'll, well, let's go here. Why not? Let's go. And I grab the matches and walk out with my drink. <laughs> okay. You go down to the concierge. Uh. Mr. Lamar, uh, how can I help you? Listen, uh, a friend of mine told me we need... Said, Are you familiar with Lantern Street? Lantern Street? No. No, that's a fancy matchbox you got there. Book of matchbox. That's what I thought. It sounded like a nice, nice place. No, I, I couldn't find it on a map. I can't say I've heard of it. Um, we do have a bunch of them, and, you know, he pulls out a drawer, and he's like, uh, you know, Patrons leave these, you know, for people to take, and that's not uh, one I've ever seen. And he puts them back in the drawer. Hmm. I, wonder if they I go outside while, while while he's talking. If I I see he's kind of like maybe maybe striking out, the guy's being nice. I walk outside and hail a taxi. Okay. Uh, it takes a couple minutes. Uh, that's fine. I'll yeah. wait. I'm, I'm outside waiting for a taxi. Yeah, and you get one. I, I finish up with the concierge and I step out. Not with him, but in the vicinity of the smoke fire. <laughs> when, the, when the taxi gets there, I ask how much is the fare to ten lan to the ten Tumbling Lantern Tiger Street. Bar at Ten Lantern Street. Um, well, I didn't catch that. What'd you say? Ten Lantern Street. Uh, Sorry, I'm I'm from down south. Not... Uh, there's a, my, uh, a friend told me the 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 booze is is the great. Tumbling Tiger Bar. No, I don't, I've never heard of that. Uh, you know, they make they take make us take this test. Uh, I know all the streets in New York. I never heard of it. Never been to it. Doesn't exist. You had a luck, bud. <laughs> okay, I flip him a penny. I don't know whatever's appropriate for wasting his time. A nickel. I don't. <laughs> yeah. A penny. <laughs> <laughs> a penny for his thoughts. A penny for yeah. his thoughts. Lack of. Got him. Got him. That hey, was that nice. was a very valuable penny thought. Yeah, sure. And a penny is not nothing in this time. <laughs> So, uh, I, this is in character. Go back inside. I tell Abigail and Iris, you know, I struck out. Tell them what I tried to do. That well, you know, come in with Vincent and um, ask if maybe if this is um, what's the word? Not an anagram, but like um, it's probably from Shanghai from that picture that I recognized. So maybe he actually did go to mm -hmm. Shanghai. Yes, it could I, be. Yeah, I was. Now that's on a great question for us to ask of the publishing house. Whatever the fuck. If they knew of his travels? Yes. Could they confirm that he had recently gone to Shanghai for his research? So we could... Um, how close are we to the New York Public Library? They're 24-7, right? It's... Uh, Probably not back then. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, never mind. It, I was going to say we could go, because they had those old-school big, like, atlas... They're not atlases, yeah. but, like, they had the big things... But you could like zoom in on them. So I was gonna see if we could find it. But if they're closed, we'll just ask the publishers. Doesn't matter. It's it's very close to you, um, by the way. It's just a few blocks away. So are they open or closed? Like uh, for they're, the they're definitely executive decision right now. All right, yeah. and yeah, I'll, I'll bring that up though as like a maybe we could try if if we can't figure it out from the publishers, maybe we could go try to find those big stick maps or whatever the fuck they are. Those are cool. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the That's library. I, I'm beginning to to think that uh, our our hunch of a Shanghai location being accurate, but uh, no, won't won't hurt to check. Yeah, out of character. I didn't know you guys related the matchbox. I knew you related the picture, so I was just I missed oh. it. Well, it was just a hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yep. If she's pretty sure that's from Shanghai, and we have Shanghai fun and and whatever the fuck, yeah. fun and friends. Yep. That uh, sounds uh, potential. Yeah, I was going too deep with it. I was keying in on it being related, but something in New York that's like a hidden puzzle, not literally a place oh. in Shanghai. That would be that would be fun, I, and that was what bothered me about it too. It says Shanghai Fun and Friends, like that's a, that's that's what a tourist trap would put on there. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's exactly uh, what it was. Maybe, maybe so. After studying, the drawing, after studying the drawing of the symbol, am I able to do another roll on it, or um, no? Since I failed the first one. You can do a push roll for it, I guess. This is belated. You can fail, I... you go blind, because you have a stroke. I didn't hear everybody, but I hear, I hear a lot of people that want to roll, so <laughs> I can let you uh, I can let you guys do it. You can do another library use, that's fine. Not today. Hey! Yep. That's a 12. I was going to say, Iris could use luck on that one. Let me see what I can give you. I can't guarantee you I'm going to give you anything great, but uh, let me see what I can give you for that. Um, do, 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 do. You know what I'll do? What I'll do is say you find some uh you noticed uh elias had some notes mm -hmm. in the packet you picked up um and he has drawn a rough sketch of that that what is in his head um during his research okay. and you see uh in like next to it a little sketch out um bloody tongue the bloody tongue and and it's like Kenya question mark. Kenya, Kenya. Mm-hmm. That... So many places. All right. The pieces can mm -hmm. fit I, together. I, I make notes if no one else is, because it may be something else we need to look up when we go get our library card tomorrow. Yeah, you guys are yep. definitely deep into the needing to make mm -hmm. notes part. It's a true, true story. So we've uh, got Egypt, Shanghai, Kenya, London. and Nairobi. And, and one of those is from London. The Penhu Foundation is Well, the Penhu Foundations are there, but Penhu was one of the I ones know. that was... But I'm just saying. Yes. Like, you're, you're, yeah. He's got the business card. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I believe... Let me, let me double check something before I speak up. Yeah, there's Mombasa too. Jesus. Hey, hey. Stop it. I'll If you. Yeah, hang on. Do, do, do. Okay, Nairobi's capital of Kenya. Sorry, I forgot. So that it ties back to the Carlisle stuff mm -hmm. that we already have. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was sitting there thinking about that, and I was like, Nairobi is something. I was pretty sure it wasn't a country. Singular curios. And you know some of these locations are mentioned mentioned in, you know, the Carlisle expeditions. Track. And then that's what I was referring yeah. back to. Yeah. Like so Nairobi is Egypt. the capital of Kenya. Mombasa yeah. is a large city in Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. 
And, and London was on the stop too. That was when he was picking up people. As Additional well. numbers may be secured while in London. Mm -hmm. So All right. not too yeah, far. Na Nairobi. Nairobi is where they talked about the the massacre. Yeah. So like, like that's that's where the trial occurred. So I'm sure that the tribesmen were outside of Nairobi, but that's where that was. Save that. So I guess we sleep in the library tomorrow, or yeah, yeah. I think so. What do you yeah, guys call we can do, I think we we're going to do, um, we're going to still kind of split up, right? Like you guys try, one of us, two of us try the publishers first, maybe. You guys mm -hmm. try your tact. Like me and Vincent can pretend we're investigators. You guys could try to be bougie collectors of some sort. I don't know, whatever you want. Like something, something different, but we're not seen together. Just in case one of us, you know, you guys go mm -hmm. first. If it doesn't work, we can go. And then we could, um, maybe if it's close, in, like either do research at the library well no i guess we'll just wait around the block because it's not going to be that long like we'll just mm -hmm. try it and then we can go to the library based on what we find maybe do some research call up miriam we'll go hit the we'll go hit the sears and buy you a hen yeah right <laughs> yeah yeah and de definitely stop at a, i actually want to stop at a pawn shop because i want to scratch the serial number off because <laughs> it's the 20s let's fucking go yeah, do they even I have thought so. Yep, Sears, 1892. Oh, yeah, Sears. So, um, I'm looking for a good stopping point here. So, you guys tell me. I'm, I'm just, yeah, I, I, I'm good to try to go to my normal. Like, I, I'm waiting for them to call me back. I said it wasn't my problem, so I'm just waiting for them to get pissed off and calling them. Okay. <laughs> um, Depends on how long they decide to yeah. investigate that possibility. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'll end it at my discretion up until then, I guess. Um, so, you guys go to sleep. Unless yep. there's any weird things that you guys are gonna do, I'm uh, going to fucking sleep. Um, go to sleep. I probably, given all that, would. Um, at some point, probably try to uh, corner Declan and um, just. Uh, God damn it, man! This is too close to home. I don't want to do about that asshole. Or he's going to get everybody now. Uh, we could go pay him a visit right now if you know where he sleeps. There's pawn oh. shops that are open 24-7. You, you, you're not wrong. Yeah. I don't, He's I don't, ready to go. I don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what Emerson's doing, but but I, I thought, thought I'd left that behind. And this is too close for comfort. Yeah, um... Uh, you know, my advice for whatever it's worth is when you have people like this, you have to either make them understand that they can't do anything to you, or you have to put them... Uh, fuck, I can't talk. You have to take them out of the equation entirely. So, um... Oh. Yeah, I, like I mean... I like that uh, idea, but I don't know how many of those goons he's got. Uh, I'm not... We can take them. It's fine. <laughs> what, what are they? What are they? They're gonna be overweight... You know, mobster wannabes or people from New Jersey. I mean, if uh, depending on what we find tomorrow, or if we see him, like just keep an eye on him. And if we need to, um, you know, Abigail and Iris, while they can be doing some research and doing other stuff, and we can. Yeah, I'm not saying we have to go kill the guy. We can, but I, I mean, I, usually, uh, in my experience, at least, when you have these like, um, these power tripping, like you know, again, these wannabe dons or these 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 bullies sometimes if they sometimes they can be made to see uh reason you should have to get kind of creative well i like where your head's at but i'm worried that this one's not so much a wannabe well in that All case right. there's a lot of stuff you can do with a knife that keeps someone alive so you know that's uh that is um well i'll just say it's painfully true but uh, I like your I like your confidence. 
makes me feel a little better. I'm gonna sleep this one off, and maybe uh, maybe the library will make me feel better tomorrow. Fuck. I'll make okay. a note. Like internally, I'm making a note to make sure that he's seems okay tomorrow, and see how serious he was about. Not that I don't believe what was said, but to see how serious he was about how bad it is, whether it was like 30% booze and 70% real, 100 zero or whatever. See how he acts tomorrow. And if I he, think by the point that he drug you aside, like even even in the moments that you know we've we've <laughs> we've been through a fair bit, um, I think he was um, he at least came across like just dead sober and probably without the booze would have been just terrified. Okay. This would probably be your general read on the conversation. It, it was it was a conversation born out of and fear um, more than than anything else. Roger. Then yeah, so. gonna have to take care of that. Um, yeah, he's gonna <laughs> pass the fuck out. <laughs> you guys all have restful sleeps. Abigail, you gain one HP. I have that to you. To wrap your arm up. Yeah. And you wake up in the morning. And someone probably gets up and makes coffee. And Hell yeah. So you probably wake up to the coffee smell. <laughs> 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 and you hear a uh, knock knock. And then you hear like a, a muffled newspaper. And then they go on and you hear like a knock knock. As we're <laughs> going down the hallways, like they're dropping off newspapers at certain. Uh... Just checking. Yeah, just checking. Love it. I grab the newspaper and I look for. <laughs> is there a is there a a cop? Right, uh, yeah. <laughs> a cop. Is, is there like a, a um, um thing about us? A tabloid? Uh, well, well, just 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 like uh, I, an article about the article. incident last night. Oh. Just yeah, just like the, yeah. the day. Like is is there a listing of of the previous days like cop calls? Kind of like no, nothing, nothing that cool. Do that but... kind of shit. There's nothing that cool, but there's uh, something that you notice, uh, and we'll end on this. I'll, we'll read this, and I'll, we'll end after this. this is a good, good point to end. Um, it's right after the headline you see, you know, on the side. Uh, Author murdered by brutal killers. Body found in Hotel Chelsea. Possible connections to Harlem murders by Rebecca Schosenberg. Manhattan, NY, January 15th. Author Jackson Elias has been found murdered in the Chelsea hotel room. The killers are reported to have used long knives to butcher the victim. Lieutenant Martin Poole of the murder squad stated that he is exploring possible connections between this murder and similar, similar slayings in Harlem last year. Local resident <clears throat> Hilton Adams was convicted of the Harlem murders in October last and is awaiting execution in Sing Sing. Hmm. Lieutenant Poole offered no opinion whether his new murder indicates that Adams had accomplices or is innocent of the earlier crimes. Bum, bum, bum. And you're just looking at this paper, you're like, oh... I was framed, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll pick up there next time. <laughs> oh my god. And thanks, as always, to Sirenscape for the amazing atmosphere and music. Make sure you check them out at sirenscape.com. You've just got to be using it, your gaming table. <laughs>